Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about reflection. So this is our second lesson within our transformation unit. So let's talk about uh, reflection definition here. A reflection uh, is a transformation that uses a line that acts like a mirror. So for example, if we look at our triangle, our gray triangle, which has a P there, and our white triangle with a P prime, if I take the point from P and I draw a line, oops, my line didn't draw there, let's try that again. If I draw a line from P to P prime, we can see that uh, a couple things are true. The line from P to P prime is always going to be perpendicular to our line of reflection, which in this case is M. So there's my right angle showing that it's perpendicular. And it actually bisects our segment P, P prime. So this length here has to be the same as this length here. So a line of reflection is a line that's exactly in the middle of every point from our pre-image to our image, our, our, first, um, our first figure to our, our second figure. And it's, per, it's perpendicular to our line, and it cuts them right in half. So the notation, now um, probably the trickiest part about transformations is learning all the different types of notation. So you'll want to really take note of this. Uh, notation for reflection across a line M is a capital R. Very important that you draw a capital R. And then we have a little letter here, M, representing our line of reflection. Then we have in parentheses our original, our pre-image point or figure, if we're given all the points for a figure, equals and then what it's mapped to. So where did it go? P went to P prime. All right, let's look at an example. So reflect the following figure across the given line. Be sure to label your image points. So if we look, our rule here is capital R, so that's going to be reflection and y equals 1. So there's our line of reflection. So I'm going to draw, for my first step, draw the line of reflection. It's very important that you draw the line of reflection before doing anything else. Now if we look at my graph, this graph is a little tricky. My axes are scaled by 2's, but my line is y equals 1. So we are actually going to go right in the middle of those values there to get my y equals 1. So it's kind of like a half unit in this graph, so pay attention. All right, now we have PQR. I'm going to reflect it over that line, so we want to get take each point and travel them or reflect them or flip them. You can think about it as like a flipping. Uh, flip them over our line the same distance on the other side. So I'm going to count horizontally to my line. So this is going to go up one and a half units. So I'm going to go up one and a half units on the other side. And there's my P prime. Always label your image points with a prime corresponding to the pre-image point. All right, so up one and a half, up one and a half. Here's my R prime. And then Q prime, we had to go up one, two, three, four and a half to get to our line. So one half and then one, two, three, four. Four, Q prime is going to go up there. We draw our image and make sure it looks right. Look at it, double check that that really does look like it was flipped over that line. And it looks good to me, so we're done. All right, next example, writing a reflection rule, so practicing our notation. So each triangle diagram is a reflection of another triangle across one of the lines. Write reflection rule for triangle one. So let's look, triangle one is here. And if we look, triangle one is a reflection of triangle three over this line here, which is line M. So we want capital R, line M, triangle one equals triangle three. All right, and then uh, triangle 2, so here I've got reflection over the line K of triangle 2 is going to equal triangle 4. 
All right, so quick little notations there, but very important that we know how to write those. All right, and that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.